Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of the Persian campaign for the New World mod for Rome 2 Total War. And yes, we're just having a plague simulator basically, uh, because we always even have the plague. Um, we've just beaten Media and Tripitain in a war here, taking Kazaka, and we've already taken their capital, Vector Barna, and uh, in the last part, so definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. Um, but yes... We just have the plague now, all our armies and they're dying. And I'm building more troops ready to uh, die from the plague. But first I'm going to merge these uh, s these archers here, just kind of s save on a bit of money there. And then I'm going to put in some more slingers. Because, oh, actually, you say that, I might put in some archers. Have some archers in there. Better mi mix it up a little bit. My spy can't really move. I'm going to move the first men back into like Persis when it's done. And then I'm probably going to be preparing for a war against uh, Armenia in the north. Because, you know, we need to get there before the Romans do. Because, well, someone's got to claim Armenia for themselves. Yeah, I can only trade. And I don't really want to trade with them. Medi-Atropatane is still... It's, like, just here. They might come for Raga. But, I mean... So I might actually send the first men back to Raga first. But, uh... We can also get... Uh, so we've got some new units, so like the Alamanite swordsmen have been added. We also have another spear unit, I'm pretty sure, that's been added. Uh, yeah, there it is, the As Astibari uh, Immortals. And then there's also a new unit for the cavalry that has been added uh, since we've last played. And that is uh, Persian Scythe Chariots. There you go, so they're going to be added. So we'll have uh, some new units to mess around with and uh, experiment with, so I think... Eventually, I'm going to build better infantry quarters to allow us to get some immortals and some alaminite uh, swords. So we're going to end the turn, and uh, we're going to see what happens, see where the media comes for us. I don't know if they will. Hopefully they've got the plague as well. They're at least starving because they have no settlement, but I hopefully they, they've got the plague as well and are suffering. And I do apologise if you can hear me, like, drinking. It is so warm in the UK, it's so humid, it is just disgusting. Um, and unbearable, <laughs> some might say. It is just that bad. Oh my god, look at this. A I think that's because I had no food. Yeah, look at that. Plague's now spread to Gazaka. Excellent. At least the first men have stopped having it. Um, we'll put you into Ectobana. I think it's just because this army here has it. I probably am better than keeping you outside the city. It's minus five, but at least then... Mm, actually, no, I'll keep you in Gazaka, because then if it... Yeah, we'll keep you there. Pirates? Oh, they've been destroyed. They, I didn't realize they're an entire faction on their own. In fairness. Uh, yeah, and then you can see, look at them. Those Spabar are already goddamn dying. Uh, I shouldn't have bought them. I shouldn't have bought them. Uh, and then I'm supposed to be going for this. Yes, to build crop rotation, get some better... Uh, well, food areas, basically. I'm going to put a grain silo in. Helps with, well, more replenishment. So that's really good. We need that. Uh, Sousa? Uh, that's going minus four currently. But Wrestling Arena is going to appear, so it'll be plus five. So it should be, maybe? Should go up plus four, so it should even out. Um, and then we're going to probably have to put in another happiness thing there. But we will see. I've been told to look at like the political thing, uh, like politics. Oh yeah, and like all the little dots are like different at the moment, like minus two per growth and minus three happiness. That one's minus five, so we probably want to get to like here and be admired, um, because it's only minus one tax, and that one. Yeah, I'd rather be admired. I don't really want to be respected. Uh, I don't really want to be exalted. I don't want to be peerless. Certainly not. Yeah, we want to kind of be about there. Beloved is okay. I don't really want to be too much more, but yeah. So we want to kind of get this house here a bit more, um, a bit more influence, I'd say. They're actually, the loyalty's going up, which is insane. So we'll have to see, but I mean, what we can do about that. But I mean, most of the places are getting generally slightly happy. We will have to pump out, I'm sure, a lot of happiness things. But I've already had to de deal with, like, 12-12 with their terrible... I would say terrible, but hard political order to, like, maintain. So, uh, I'm sure we can deal with this just as well. So, we're going to go up to Gabala, have a look what's over here. I can sort of see that Tushpa has no army here. Gabala also has no army. Uh, I just kind of want to find more people. Find more people. And 
treat with them, we'll say. Um, yeah, no one's broken away yet from the Seleucids. I'll, actually, I'm just flicking through this. Have they lost anything? They've lost Tarsus, I know that. Um, have they lost anything else? They still hold Odessa. They still hold all this over here, so I, I presume that they are doing okay in this war. Yeah, I mean, they've not taken anything impressive. Oh, there's the kingdom with the sand down there. I didn't even realize. Can we treat with you? Greetings. No, I can't. Bloody useless. Um, so there we go. Right, we're going to probably... I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got so much money and I've got so little to do with it. Uh, I think I'm just going to end the turn. I'm just going to end the turn and just... We're just going to power through some of these turns again. It is turning into a bit of a turn simulator. I do apologize. Hopefully we get a battle fighting someone. Nabatea is just knocking around. Uh, Armenia does want trade and they also have the same blood. I will take it. Yeah. I mean, I was about to go to war with you, but I'm now boxed in kind of with lots of people that I'm friendly with. But we could always break that trade agreement once we've got a decent economy going ourselves. But now we have gold. We now have gold. Oh, something's gone wrong. Attrition. Gore is also... Why is Gore losing men, then? Why is Gore losing men? Does Gore have the plague? Uh, Gore is losing men just for the sake of it. Why is it attrition? It's because there's no food in the region, but there is. That's so bizarre. Um, well, I can see why Kazak has not got it. Yeah, can I have a look at Gore, please? Yeah, it's not. It's losing men for some bizarre reason. So Medivh Atropatane is now gone there. Good. Wrestling Arena is now built. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know why we've got food. We've got plenty of food. We've got six food. Hmm, that is really bizarre. And where else was attrition? Susa, Perspasolis. Is it because... I wonder whether it's because the garrison's been reduced. No? I don't know. I know that they were possibly wondering about reducing the garrisons at one point, but I didn't think that would have happened by now. But yeah, trouble populace in, in, uh, in Susa. Well, just generally in uh, the whole area. But it's going plus six now, so I'm, I'm going to leave it how it is. Um, yeah, we've got lots of uh, like wonders here. We've got the Necropolis of Rostam. Mount Bust... Uh, yeah, we have interesting stuff. Wow. Um, I guess I could build some more spare barra. Let's build three units. They can be like the... Uh, yeah, this, in, this army doesn't have much infantry in fairness. Yeah, we'll make that like the... Uh, the bedrock of my army, almost. Uh, I don't really want to build... I mean, I could build that. Gives minus three for food. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get Alam Knights already. I'm pretty sure you can get them in uh, Attila or something like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then that's kind of all I can do. I kind of want though to remove this, but I need to get another general. And I need to, like, obviously then go to war and, like, make him respected and stuff. But yeah, they have lots of stacks everywhere to these armies. I don't think I could take them all on. I'm going to have to see, like, the Seleucids get destroyed or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to have to expand. I probably should have not made that treaty with Armenia just yet. Or if I... Well, I can always make that... Break it and then just uh, prepare for a war. Well, or prepare for a war before. But if I keep going north, I'm going to find those Amazonians sooner or later. It is so warm here. It is unbearable. Uh, anyway... Politician, we can counter the rumors and lose one court noble. Yeah, let's do that. Forsaken by their masters. Oh, oh, they've broken. They've not broken away. They've just got destroyed. No, Aria, they're they're gone. And then Bactria is nearly on the doorstep. We might have to have a war with Bactria if they can take an affront. I will be ready to spring into action and go for them, for sure. They've stopped. I thought you'd stop starving. You're still starving. Stop starving! <laughs> um, for God's sake, it's so frustrating. Ah, and there we go. Just The attrition is just there now. So everyone has to replenish. So I don't know what that was. Was it just delayed, like... 
Whatever. I'm going to move this guy to Raga. Still the same region. But now he's ready if there's a, a Bactrian force that just appears. We can deal with it. But, uh, I mean, Raga's pretty solid. Pretty good defense. Again, nothing I can really spend my money on. Uh, I've got only 11,000. 1,100 coming in a turn, sorry. Not all that. If I had 11,000 coming in a turn, I'd expect to be able to spend it on something. But, uh, I mean, I could get rid of these mercs eventually. I probably will. Um, I'm just going to keep merging them. There you go. Keep merging. I'm not really too fussed about them dying of plague. I've got plenty of archers now. Um, I don't know why the, the Persian archers go here. That's a really annoying. But we'll end the turn. And then we'll see what we can do in the next turn. I mean, hopefully, like, when we get the tech coming through and we can build more buildings and, like, growth goes up, that'll be really good. But yeah, growth is currently going down. So, like, all those techs that I was doing are requiring to get the growth just to, like, even. Really. Well, not even, but, like, to get rid of the debuff. So I don't really want it to get any worse. But, yeah, surely, like, the bigger... You I don't know, maybe. Maybe the powerful, more powerful you get, the less. Because Zaka got the plague again. I'm going to have to move. I am going to have to move. I'm going to move to Ectabana. It's just not... Oh, no, it got rid of the plague. Gazaka. Well, it says it doesn't have the plague. It doesn't say it has the plague, but... Okay, well, we're pulling out anyway. Attrition, the Lightbringers... Faction destroyed Aria and Ardi are gone. Right, well. Maybe this one's going to become the main army. <laughs> it just seems like this is the only one that can't, like, get infected by the plague. Or it does, not often anyway. Um, I don't know what I want. I, I've got plenty of, like, melee cav. I'm going to keep these uh, Persian cavalry. <laughs> they're doing okay for me. Could put some Persian hotplates in there, but they're so much worse. Than my spa barra, so I'd just rather have them. Persian hot plates are just naff. Um, let's just keep an eye on. Yeah, I mean, back trees. I mean, I doubt they were going to expand again just yet. But yeah, I might just start cutting out, like, turns. If, like, this is going to be a constant theme, that, like, nothing happens, I might just start making cuts till something actually happens, so you don't have to see, like, these random bits. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I mean, we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments if you would rather have that. But uh, I'm just going to end the turn again. Again, I just can't really do anything. I'm stuck, like, surrounded by people. If you'd rather see me, like, go to war with the, sta uh, the uh, like, the puppet states of the Seleucids, then please do let me know. Um, because I'm happy to, to try and break away. I, or I can obviously go to war with Armenia, if you think that would be a better idea. Let me know in the comments. Would, I, would you rather see me go to war with Seleucids or with Armenia uh, to... To expand really just do something so Persia is having extreme drought oh no what's that doing then that just does a lot of damage to the public order and everything else like that now the attrition yep yeah, light bringers surely they've lost plague now finally they've lost the plague I mean they'll get it again I'm sure uh, I mean fingers crossed touch wood everything they just don't uh right I'm gonna send the spy I forgot to send you up here go and basically find these people and then we'll loop him back round, and I'm going to send him over to Bactria. So we'll start coming back this way. Um, so I can do stuff with Cartley now. Absolutely nothing, apparently. Oh, and Cappadocia's now... Cappadocia's no longer a faction. Or, like, got a city. So they've been forced out by, I'm presuming, Galatia. And, I mean, the Seleucids are still holding their ground. Oh, are they? Yeah, they are still holding their ground. They have still lost Cyprus, though. Maybe this is a bit of a stalemate over here, but yeah, I mean, look at this block. This is a disgusting amount of block, like, regions that are just held. I, I could probably take out Media quickly. They seem to have nothing in their, like, cities over here, like Seleucia, Charax. They'd have nothing here. But I don't really want to then feel the wrath of, like, everyone to the east. Like, they have stacks for days over here. I mean, actually, this one's a pretty beat up one. That one's not. I need to see, like, I need to see, uh, Bactria knock a few more of these people out. Then I'll be like, yeah, we could do this. Because Seleucids just aren't helping. One bit. Uh, I think I'm just going to end the turn again. Uh, we'll get some technology at the end of the next turn, and I can then actually start to build some more buildings. And um, so that'll be useful. What is that? Is that horses? Or is that cattle that Zadra, Zadra Carter's got? I don't know. 
Looks like cattle. I guess we can trade in cows. But I hope you guys are all doing well. And oh, here we go. Carly's declaring war on me. Okay, yeah, sure. I was joined by Seleucids and no one else. Well, I guess Seleucids join and everyone else joins? But yeah, I'm at war with these guys now, so... See, again, look, for some... Oh, is it because of the flipping des uh, scorching hot drought? Oh, that'll be what it is. That's kind of annoying, I won't lie. Pirates in Kodash. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, that's really annoying, then. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Faction destroy Cappadocia. There you go. Um, what was I wanting to look at? Attrition report. Yeah, so Persolis. Yeah, it is just because of that drought. Okay, I can live with that. Persia's not really like the center of my attention. Well, I might have to send the large army then back this way. And I'm could. I might just go across their land and just take it. I don't really. I don't have an outpost. Hmm. I don't know if I can get anything with. Uh, yeah. I can't get anything with them. Is it. No, it's actually horses. It looked like cattle. Oh, no, it is cattle. I was right. There is a cattle one there. You have cows. You have cows. I'm pretty sure. I'm not making that up, am I? I'm just, I don't want to be going mad. Producing livestock. There you go, yes. Anyway. Let's do what I was meant to be doing, instead of looking at just cows randomly. That's just what Pope does now, it seems. Ah, uh, oh, great field would be great, but minus three public order. It's not a bit, that's not, I'm not a fan of that. I could go with that one. What does that one do? That one gives me seven food, though. This one gives me seven food and minus one public order. Do get rid of wine, though. Hmm. I'm not too desperate on the food. I'll just hold off on that yet. So maybe I won't be building that just yet. But but I can do something here. A polo pitch. Hey, what does a polo pitch add? Oh yeah, we could definitely do with that. Plus 10 public order. Could definitely do with that being added in possibly. Anything else for growth? I mean, we could add all these in. Um... I don't know. Let's see, let's see. What is this one? Yeah, let's go with that one. Two two turns for a polo pitch, I think. I don't really need anything down the military area yet. I'm kind of like pretty military superior over anyone generally because of my new units. Don't really need any of these other ones. Uh, I mean, I could possibly go with the quartermaster. Just allows me to like do more with my siege equipment and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, building mercs. Yeah, I think I might just take the, the two stacks and just go north and just take out these guys. Are they, are they generally like going to war with me? I don't know where their other army is. Or is this their only army? Please don't tell me that's their only army. Actually, no, please tell me it's their only army. They have a 14... Yeah, I think we could take these guys out. We'll go through these lands here, go straight up, and we'll go and snipe them out. How dare they, like, just attack me or, like, declare war on me. Absolute mad lads. Colchis is here as well. We can see them. You have my I can do absolutely nothing with them. They probably might then declare war on me. We will see. I mean, I kind of want to still declare war on Armenia because I want to link my lands up. They don't have a big army as well for three settlements. We could definitely strike out at them. Certainly after we've taken out Cartley. We will see. Oh no, maybe that's a full stack that's just appeared out of their capital. Oh, was that pirates there? That's cool. Okay, so they've got like two sort of armies, but they don't really. Um, this army needs to just keep moving up and replenishing. <laughs> oh, I do apologize. I'm just sneezing. I was like, clearly everything's just going against me. The weather, my senses, or what do you call it, senses or diseases? Oh, Caledons are gone. That's the first like new faction that's been wiped out. Okay, so we're not going to see the mad Caledonians today. I'm going to build the last two units, and then I'm going to cross into their lands, and I'm going to go and destroy them. I don't care, Armenia, that I'm all pissed you off. I've got your trade agreement with you already. Oh, yes, here we go. Elite so uh, Alamanite Swordsman, sorry. Um, immortal Spears. Let's get two Immortal Spears, I say. Um, 
I'm going gonna get I'm seeing these new units I'm like oh shiny. Uh, let's get some alumni swords as well. And then we'll get them on the go. Yes. Now you should fear me, Cartley. I'm coming for you. I mean my economy's gonna take an absolute drop, but we're getting more growth soon. We can build some more stuff to help with growth. Uh well that's actually media. I'm gonna be able to do anything in Persia for a while. Probably not. No, the growth here is just terrible. Anyway, we'll end the turn. You just stick around there, spy man, and uh, we'll find out. We'll find you something to do. <laughs> we'll find you something to do. Kingdom of the Sand. That's a really cool name. I won't lie. Hopefully, they're going to get you new units, uh, like Saba. Oh, Pergamon's also joined the war. Okay, yeah, there you go. Defend our overlord in another war, which I don't really want to be in. Okay, that's a. Full stack that just disappeared. Okay, maybe they have more than I think. Um, but we'll see. Hire bodyguards. Jail the suspect. Promote the suspect. Let's hire bodyguards. Uh, what's that formal government that is? Yeah, formal government I now have. Well, there you go. We have a formal government, so this allows us to have dignitaries. But also gives us a polo pitch and a mint. I guess a mint kind of makes sense. Um... Cultural conversion. Let's go with foreign customs. That gives us plus one in public order in all provinces. And it gives us more money. Uh, can you cross into their land? Yes, you could. But I'd rather get you to a full stack. I'd rather get you to a full stack. Pergamon we've encountered and we've gone to war with instantly. Actually, we were 666. I don't think we can really afford to build any more troops and keep a decent economy. Trespassing? Yeah, I know, I know. We're trespassing. I know, I know, we're trespassing. I'm sorry, Armenia. But you love me. Oh, maybe you don't now. Maybe you don't. You didn't actually like those two trespasses. Wow. Uh, who are you at war with? Colchis and Galatia. Who are you at? Well, you're at war with a lot of people. Um, How far off did that big stack go? I kind of want to take that on first. I can't see it. There's another stack of Armenians there that just got beaten back. Armenia seems to be in another war. I really kind of want to go to war with them then. I want to keep them at war with Colchis for as long as possible. As long as possible so that then they keep just throwing troops against that wall there and dying. Um, but yeah, can I not build a... Oh no, I already have a wrestler. I, what? I thought I just... A polo pitch. Is that different to a, no, a wrestling ring? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's not that one. This it's this one, isn't it? Polar pitch. Why can't I do it? Why can't I build it? Exactly. That's just weird. It should have an upgrade there, and there's no nothing staying. I can't build it. That's really bizarre. I won't lie. Um, the model might want to check that out. I don't know if that's anything to do with his mod or with uh. Or just with the game, I'm not really sure. But we're gonna end the turn. We're just gonna we're just gonna pretend we don't need it. We don't need the polo pitch. We never liked polo in the first place. Oh god, yeah, there's Bactria. They're on my doorstep. We might need to turn around. Or build another army. Hmm. Well he's Bactria's got a lot of people around me. Actually, no, they're not quite on my doorstep. Well they sort of are, but they they wouldn't come through those lands to come and get me. Oh, they are really sending off their armies. I could probably strike for their city. Sagarthia so trade, yeah, trade is gone. Damn. Yeah, they tried to go for me and they failed. Ha. Right. Can I get reach there? You absolute. Right, I'm going to stay hidden. Or at least I think that's hidden. Within striking distance next turn. Um, Forsaken by the masses, Sagarthia. I mean, these people are starting to die off. Bactria is clearly, like... On a on a war path, yeah, they're not quite a Perspasolis, but I will recruit an army or a general if they get any closer. But I might recruit another spy if I can. No, I can't. But I could get a dignitary. I could get a champion as well or a veteran. Um, I'm gonna get this one. He's pretty good at uh, wounding people in self-defense, and he's good at killing people, or he's better at killing people than the rest. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end the turn. So yeah, we're going to keep this guy here, just going to keep an eye on basically what's going on over here. That was kind of the plan. I mean, yeah, you can see here, we could definitely go on a warpath through here then. 
That's certainly opened up. We'll go for war with Bactria after we've basically taken out that small bit of territory over here. I'm sending my armies up there anyway. I've committed. I've committed to sending my armies to the north to go and do this. This is such a stupid little expedition, but it's worth it. And then once I've got one of the full stacks inside the city, then they're pretty done for. Carly didn't send his troops back. I'm going to go and have to send my spy off to find where they went. Yeah, I don't think they found... They re they've realised they've got two full stacks waiting on their doorstep. I think Cartley sent its armies... Yeah, they've sent them off to Seleucids, haven't they? Oh, it's good having an overlord sometimes. Yeah, that's a... That's a... 12 or a 12, a two stack. Yeah, there's one army. And there's a second army. Have fun. Um... Yeah, we can take this nice and easily. A 89%. Yeah, we'll take it. We will take it. Chop this man down. And we have a new city, guys. So, there we go. We've got a little outpost in the north. I had no plans of really taking, but they came to war with me. So, I mean, there you go. And just imperial... Ah, oh, see, look at that. I don't want to be exalted at all. Why do you do this to me? I didn't want that. Um, but anyway. Oh, we've got two... Well, we're getting rid of one of these. Um, we're going to need the one with the most public order. I already know that. There we go. And then can I send one of these armies back? I can. I'm going to send this one all the way back south because we're going to need to deal with all the stuff there. Population surplus in media magna. Excellent. It's a plus two. That's okay. I'm going to put... Eh, we could do with more food. But I kind of want to put in... Is there anything for shrine that helps with, like food? It's not like the overpowered one for like the Poseidons. Not really. Not really. Um, public order and food, though. There's like a combo for that, like there is in. Um, in like the the normal, the normal. Uh, <laughs> in uh, in vanilla, then that would be great. I can't see anything that's gonna build that. Just yet. I mean, this one's the best one for food and doesn't do anything damage to public order, but it only goes up to four. Like, they don't they don't make it go any higher like they do in vanilla. Uh, administration post. Minus one in that. Public order and taxes. Town guard. That could be useful. And then it goes to, only goes to food there, like damages food. That could be useful, but... I think I'm... Um, I don't know. I keep... I'm flicking through. Uh, I'm going to go with a shrine. I'm going to go with a shrine. Faction encountered. Simaria we've encountered. Okay. Or, uh, I've, I've definitely pronounced that incorrectly, but hey. I give you yeah, I can't do anything with you. Cartley, I'm, I'm sure you hate me. But your fault for leaving your city undefended. I believe this is who it is. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just go to the north. Oh no, we've already had a look. Had a look. Yeah, you should probably replenish pretty quickly. Uh, you have you have the 18 stack, not the 20 stack. Okay, well, we'll do something about that as soon as possible. Hmm. I could get just put in two Takabara, but we're all right for now. We're all right. For, um, well, how much money? These are costing a lot to upkeep. Let's get rid of these guys. They're actually costing far too much now. There you go. The money's like already looking a lot better. And I'll just put in like a load of Takabara, and they can just hold the line. I mean, they, they won't hold the line, but we can pretend that they will. We can all pretend in the hearts of our hearts that they will. Right, Perspus Solace, you need to go over here. Um, agent for Perspus Solace, you need to go into BAM. You need to go and find out what's going on here. They've already given it up. Right, well, we're going to strike out with my main army. And we're going to... Well, yeah, this is sort of the main army now. And go back down here. And expand. But that is where we're going to end today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's been a little bit like slow this one, but we're finally getting some stuff done. We've taken a region in the north. I don't know why we have this region in the north, but we do. Um, we're going to probably expand in some sort of way with it. Uh, and then we've also now got an enemy on our uh, doorstep. Bactria has finally like pushed this way. I wonder how much territory they've taken, just out of interest, before we uh, call it a day. But yeah, they've taken all of like Aria, or most of it. Um, well, we also have uh, Eric Chosey here that they're like, uh, that they're, oh, that this is held by uh, the elephant people. Okay, so Eric Chosier is like also here. 
But yeah, I mean, they seem to like have expanded quite a bit of Bactria. They have all, oh, they have that bit up there. Yeah, they've got about five settlements now. Maybe make that six. So they are, they're getting off for my sort of level of strength. I have seven now. Um, so yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And if you'd like to see more of this uh, campaign, definitely subscribe as well. And also leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.